What's up, boxing fans? It's your boy Rick Mahana, Brawler Sports Media in the building. And this is the Brawler Sports Boxing Show. Well, <clears throat> the latest update on Earl Spence Jr. versus Terrence Bud Crawford is Earl Spence representative sent Terrence Crawford's lawyers uh, another proposal, if you will, another contractual deal uh, to put it all together and, and make this whole thing uh, consummate and that they'll fight. But Obviously, Bud's not interested in what was sent over, and Spence's people are saying this makes them want to believe that uh, they don't they don't have any interest in committing to this fight, which will be one of the biggest non heavyweight fights in history of boxing. Uh, with that being said, in my opinion, I'm gonna tell y'all what's gonna happen. I knew this fight wasn't gonna happen this year. I said spring, March, April, 2023. Remember? I think it's going to be a Keith Thurman and Boots in this fight to be announced real soon. And I'm stirring that in the pot because I kind of know boxing. I like to think I know boxing a little bit. And I know PBC and I know how Al Heyman thinks. He putting these guys into play and putting them in that pot of soup. That's the backup right there, which would still be an entertaining fight to watch Boots in and see how he fares against a once upon a time former world champion and Keith one time Thurman. Definitely would be a good fight. The only thing about that, both of these guys would be saying, hey, where's the reward? Keith doesn't have a belt. Boots just won his last bout as the IBF eliminator fight to fight Spence for the IBF belt. I would push IBF and say, hey, you came up with an elimination bout. I fought, I won. Where's my damn fight with Spence? I don't know. But remember I said it, there's a possible Keith one time Thurman and Boots Ennis is going to get it on in this 147 weight class division. Also, I spoke with Danny the Swift, Danny Garcia, uh, Danny Swift Garcia uh, at the fight this past weekend, Wilder fight versus Hellenius. Uh He was out having dinner at the same restaurant I was, spoke with him and his pops, uh, Garcia Sr. And uh, Danny said he's going to be back in the ring real soon. So we're going to see. It'll be real interesting to see where Danny's second fight is going to come from at the 154-pound level. And uh, let's see how he fares uh, in his next fight. He did pretty good in his, in his debut at 154. So let's see how they're going to carry Danny Garcia and how far away they're going to take him. That's it for now. It's your boy Rick Mohammed, Brawler Sports Media. This was a boxing update. And this is the Brawler Sports Boxing Show. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go to my YouTube channel, Brawler Sports Media, and subscribe. Set your little alarm so when you get those alerts that I'm live, I got new content posted, you can follow along either right there live in the flesh in real time, or you can go back and watch it. But just subscribe and support me. Uh, also, you can follow me on Instagram, Brawlers underscore sports underscore media. And at Twitter, it's at Brawlers M. At Brawlers M. That's it for now. Till next time. Let's go, champs. Brawlers, Brawlers baby. Brawlers.